Hey guys, it's Andrew from Off Grid Solar Smart House, and today I wanted to take some time to show you guys my OPS setup. And this unit powers my entire house, at least 99% of it. And it has 15 kilowatts of power with six B2 batteries. I have three separate solar arrays connected to the system, which I will be showing later in the video. And I average around 2,400 watts of solar input to the max around 3,200 watts that recharges this unit. Here's the OPS 3, the Mega 3 right there on the bottom. And you can see I got an extension cable going from that plug into the generator transfer switch itself. Now a little bit about the generator transfer switch. I actually installed this myself and it's a ProTrans 2. Right behind the generator transfer switch is my main electrical panel. And I have a piece of flex conduit, which you can see right here at the bottom, going directly into that panel and I have my wires connected into the main electrical panel. This unit actually has four breakers um 15 amps each which i kind of cheaped out in the beginning i should have bought the 30 amp one but i just was in a rush to try to get this in and you can see it's pretty simple one of the ends of the extension cables goes into the generator transfer switch and then the other end goes into my mega 3 turn it on and then all those breakers have power now let's talk more about my solar panels on my roof since the filming of this video, the solar panels have been cleaned. Now I have three separate solar arrays. These first three panels right here, one, two, three, are about 390 watts, I believe, of solar, and they're in series. These back ones, I don't remember them. They might be 280 watts, and there's four of them, and they're all in series, and that's its own separate array, so that's the second one. And then these panels right here with the white diamonds, there are six of them. And these panels are in three series, two parallel. And I actually got a new roof put on last year. Prior to this, I kind of had a different setup of the panels that I've abandoned. And I went with them just flat laying down. They're not mounted and they're supported by these pieces of wood. When it gets windy or anything like that, I just drop the wood and lay them flat on the roof. And I have, I've had no issues, and it's been well over a year, about a year and a few months. Um, the cables go underneath the home. There's the old abandoned system that I used to use. You guys can check out my other videos to see it. Um, but here it is, you guys can see those weird mounts that are on the edges of the panel that's actually when water hits it the water drips off the panel and here's how i kind of have all the wires secured they kind of go underneath the raptors right here or the eaves wrap around and then on the exterior of the house i try to make them you know a little bit fit in i guess and i have them in conduit and then in between the home and the room that they're in, there is also another piece of flex conduit. If something ever happens to my solar panels or if I need for some other reason to charge more, each one of those B2 batteries can accept its own solar array. So I have spare solar panels laying around. For the past three years, I've been using power stations exclusively to power most of my house. And I've been able to get my utility bill down from, I don't know, 7, 11 kilowatts of power a day, all the way down to 5 kilowatts of usage a month, which in the grand scheme of things is nothing. Now they still do charge me an arm and a leg because I live in one of the most expensive cities in the nation for electricity and they charge you from everything from delivery and for the five kilowatts is you know about eight bucks which is crazy one thing i really love about power stations though is 
it's not like a Tesla wall. If I sell my home, I got to take all those batteries and, and units with me, the panels, whatever I want. And it's not tied down to one location. Guys, if you guys got any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.